Hi guys, welcome to another video in the Carbon Panigale series. Um, it's been a while since the last video. Uh, I've been waiting for a few parts to come through. Uh, some parts are finally here, there's still a few more I'm waiting for, but hopefully we should be able to look at getting the tail section done today. Uh, it's a bit fiddly, a few bits to do, but uh, let's get cracking. So as you can see, this is roughly what the tail section will look like when it's completed. Um, there's a couple of sections here that we're going to look at, but I've built it up now so you can see what it might look like or similar to when it's finished, although it needs, uh, it needs painting and everything. But I'll show you the individual parts as we take it apart. <coughs> so the tail section is these two bits here and then the seat pad just here. Now, the reason why I needed, um, I was waiting a long time for the parts, is I need this particular seat pad. Um, I did originally get one from Full 6, um, which looks very similar, and although it doesn't actually allow you to fit the rear lights into the back of this tail section, which obviously I want because it's a road bike, or it will be used as a road bike. If you don't want to use it as a road bike, the Full 6 section would be absolutely fine. So, just a little bit of fiddle in the back. one tail piece uh, with a Zeus fastener one side and then the other side now these are the bits that I've actually been waiting for for a while that's the new seat pad and I'll show you in a second how uh, the rear light section uh, actually fits into this but you can probably see yourself it's, it's on there you'll see all the holes need drilling I'll just put it on there to show you what it looked like We've actually got this bracket here, <coughs> which is the one that um, I needed for this particular section. Now here's a closer look at the bits I was talking about. So that's the new one. That's the original piece from Full 6. And you see there, actually quite a nice piece uh, with all the Zeus fasteners already in there. So if you're running race body work, uh, race fairings, don't need the rear lights, that's actually ideal. It's very nice, very well made piece. Unfortunately, uh, not needed for me. This is the new piece. You see it's quite a lot more involved, uh, made by carbon composites. So what that allows to happen is the rear light section here actually allows for it to be uh, included when this is fitted and you can see these are the bits that locate um, the rear lights they actually go in there like that I've just had a look at the bowl holes again and uh, it's very slightly out so I think the easiest thing for me to do is just slightly expand this hole here So I didn't like that way the, um, the drill was actually cutting into the carbon. It wasn't making too fine a job of it. So I'm just going to use the Dremel and see if that helps. Seems to be a much nicer hole, so let's try this. And this section actually you see the flat sections uh, where are they here and here they go on to these four sections here so let's see if we can't cut some holes all right let's check if these line up So these will be the main holes. These are just some rivets I'm going to be using later to put the uh, Zeus fasteners on. 
sort of perfect for just chopping through this area of the fit. So check that from underneath. Amazingly, that's actually all pretty good. <laughs> just done a little bit of faffing with these uh, Zeus fasteners um, basically how I've fastened them and how you tend to to use these just whip this little one out normally come with a, a one mil spacer you can see that just there and you put that through the part um, on this bike what I've been doing is is putting it through the external uh, piece of body work and then to stop it falling out you just put it through the piece and put that washer on the other end like that and that just actually that one's a bit stiffer uh, and that keeps it attached to the panel so I'll show you what I've done here so just pop it through and push that washer through and it just sits there like that so I've actually spaced them all out. Some have got two of the lighter washers on, um, just so it's actually got tension and the receptacles on. So if you use this one, for instance, it's going to go on like that. There you go, nice and tight. So all I need to do now is position all of these in the right place and then just mark the holes I need to drill for the, uh, the rivets to go through. Start drilling them while they're actually in there. After all of these done, there will be one more that actually goes in there, but I'm going to get it all fixed up, uh, get the tail section on, uh, so that's going to dictate where the actual main hole is, and then I can do the, uh, the same after that. Okay, when we'll come back, I'll have them done. All the rivets are now fitted, so let's see if it actually uh, actually works. That is actually pretty good. Once that space is on there, that won't move at all.
uh, tell you it's all uh, buttoned up, sorted out. Um, everything went actually really well. Quite pleased with the way it went. Uh, a bit of a gamble with the rear light section, just drilling the holes, but uh, I couldn't think of any other way to do it, but uh, it all goes on. I'm really happy with it. Um, all I need to do really is uh, sort out the air ducts on there, and I'll do that another day. It's not, not going to take long. They just need fitting when I put the tail unit in, so I'll do that next time. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you subscribe. Uh, see you again. Um, click that like button if you like the video, uh, and pop some comments down in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.